Hey everybody, welcome to Go Bold. My name is Jody Atariwala and I'm your host. And I'm coming to you today from Madrid, Spain. And we are at the FinDef exhibition here. And I'm joined today with Andrew Sullivan, uh, who is the business development manager at Navantia for North America. That's correct. Yeah. Andrew, thank you for joining me. You're very welcome. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I had uh, pleasure to meet you as well. Um, Navantia is a company that is very well known in Spain and in Europe. Um, perhaps less so in North America. So perhaps a good way to begin is just for you to explain um, you know, what the company's focus is and you know, where it's headquartered, etc. Well, I'm actually going to start at the beginning, if you don't mind. Sure, yeah. Uh, Navantia has a 300-year-old history. Uh, since uh, I think it was 1717 when, uh, when the, at the time the, the commander of the, the, the naval forces in Spain opened a shipyard and, and that's the beginnings of, of Navantia since then. Um, the, the shipyard in Cartagena where we uh, construct submarines has been since I think 1730 I think so we'll have an anniversary there soon enough. Um, Navantia the brand name itself is, is only tw 20 years old but that history has gone back all of that time. Uh, and since then, it's, a, it's, it's been a shipbuilder, uh, mostly military ships, but there has been some civilian uh, commercial shipping as well. And then, of course, we do a lot of ship repair, uh, both on, uh, on commercial and, and military. Right. Really interesting. Um, you know, I previously have visited with Navantia in Australia when uh, Navantia was producing ships for the Australian Navy, right. area air warfare destroyers. So, you know, the company is global. Yes, yeah, for and, sure. And becoming more global as every year goes past. Just just this year, we uh, completed the acquisition of Halland and Wolf, okay. the the company in, in the UK in Northern Ireland, the north of Ireland, that uh, that uh, made where the Titanic was built. Right. Uh, so that Navantia UK is now part of the Navantia family and increasing our global footprint as well. Fantastic. Um, so, I'm here because uh, Navantia is very uh, is keen on proposing their submarine, the S-80 class, uh, for the Canadian Patrol Submarine Project, um, CPSP. And uh, so, tell me a little bit about the S-80 class of submarines. Um, I believe, obviously, uh, designed for the Spanish Navy which is a NATO member. Um, but yeah, tell me a little bit about the submarines and, and why Navantia thinks it's a good fit for Canada. We believe quite strongly that the, the S-80 is the, uh, the, the best con conventional submarine in the NATO uh, area at the moment. Um, uh, part of that, uh, that, that confidence comes from the AIP, the Air Independent Propulsion System that, that we have, uh, which allows for the the submarine to stay uh, in stealth mode for a number of weeks um, uh, without snorkeling uh, by by storing bioethanol and oxygen on board hydrogen can be created that recharges the batteries the uh, the residual waste can then be uh, expelled with with almost zero uh, footprint um, uh, so that's that's a very unique third generation AIP system that, that we have uh, and, it, and, and it allows uh, refueling, replenishment of those materials, those substances at, uh, at commercial ports or even, even from logistical vessels uh, at sea. Right, right. So now, that's one of, the, one of the reasons. Sure. Now, is this bioethanol um, AIP uh, um, system, is that unique to uh, Navantia submarines? So there are, many of our competitors offer AIP systems of, of different generations. Uh, right. Third generation, the most... Uh, the most uh, the most advanced one. Uh, it's certainly a unique combination uh, that that we're offering. There are our competitors offer other uh, AIPs that allow for stealth mode for uh, some time. Uh, it's usually classified the exact uh, amount of time. Sure. Um, but what I think is unique about uh, Levante is how bioethanol is used uh, and oxygen, both safe. Uh, substances to have on board and to, to replant. Wonderful. And so, uh, Navantia is currently on contract for the SAD class submarines uh, with Spain. Uh, you're proposing the, the, the same class for Canada. Yes. And that offers some interesting um, synergy between NATO partners and, uh, and in addition, Navantia is building a um, 
the F-110 class of ship, which has the Spy-7 radar married with the Aegis weapon system, which is the same kind of configuration that's on the Canadian River-class destroyer. So that's interesting to me because there, it, if Canada were to acquire an Avantia submarine, then there's more synergy across different platforms. Uh, now, obviously a submarine is different from a surface platform, but, but at least there's a common company involved. Yeah, and uh, we really are looking at this, this, this offer as the beginning of what would be a uh, strategic country-to-country -country partnership. Right. Um, the, uh, the S-80 offer for the CPSP is a whole-of-nation offer. Uh, not only is Navantia is a 100% state-owned company, so, so that's part of it, um, but the, the government, we have the Spanish government backing for this, the Ministry of Defence and the Spanish Navy, mm -hmm. all of whom would be involved with the nation-to-nation uh, -nation, uh, offering of, of the S-80. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the S-81, the first, the first of the class, was launched uh, two years ago, if I'm not wrong. Um, and uh, this summer, in fact, next month, the end of June, we will we will launch the S-82, so that will be in the water from, from the end of next month. Uh, and then S-83 is in production uh, uh, in Cartagena, in the south of Spain. And S-84 is even visible there on, on in pieces as well, right. in blocks. Uh, so yeah, the production is going very well. Having said that, uh, the uh, the schedule that we can plan with the for, for the potential Canadian vessels uh, fits in with the requirements of the of the CPSP for scheduled delivery. And I assume Navantia has that scalability to be able to produce the numbers required that Canada yes. might select. Yeah, I mean, there's two two production lines in operation at the moment, right. with as I say, three submarines on those. On those lines, mm -hmm. and down in Cartagena, um, which I believe you'll visit uh, this week, uh, you'll see that there is scope for opening other submarine lines as well. So the plans are in place for uh, for our next order. Fantastic. Um, what other um, Canadian-specific messaging um, does Navantia have in context with the Canadian submarine uh, proposal that you guys are going to put forward? Like, what is important for you to kind of highlight about this sub, in addition to the AIP, kind of unique AIP propulsion? Yeah, um, so as I say, it's a nation-to-nation a -nation, uh, offering, and, and um, of course we have a lot of uh, content on board that w allows for a very lean and efficient uh, supply chain. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the work that we're doing at the moment in advance of any RFP is... Uh, is establishing a similar kind of supply chain in Canada. Um, as you mentioned, we have been involved heavily with uh, with Australian programs uh, in Norway and in the UK, where there was uh, the requirement to include a lot of industrial participation, uh, and that's something that Navanti has a lot of experience at, very successful at, and uh, and something that uh, we're looking forward to working with with Canada, involving the the local industry there, bringing it into the. NATO supply chain that we have at the moment um, and uh, contributing to Canadian industry. Right, right. And then if Canada were to select this S-80 submarine, you just mentioned NATO, that synergy, uh, NATO partners, NATO supply chain, uh, and then that allows uh, uh, opportunity to train together as navies as well. So, Absolutely. And that's yeah. the kind of training that can that can actually take place before the before the first submarine is is in the water. We work right. very closely with uh, with the Spanish Navy. Uh, we have a training school down in, in Cartagena, um, and uh, that's something that the Spanish Navy are fully committed to uh, working with the Canadian Navy. If if if, if that was uh, if that was the case. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like a really interesting uh, proposal. Uh, and I wish Navanti all the best in this uh, in this effort, and uh, looking forward to how things uh, uh, how things evolve. Thanks very much, and uh, well, look forward to seeing you again in Cansec in two weeks. We'll Ab be there, absolutely. Uh, so come and visit the, the the stand. Wonderful. Thank you, okay. Andrew. Pleasure. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.